There's a lot of similarities between hunting and photography, except to the animal. Kathy Ilg and Sean Fitzgerald are in the Texas Hill Country with hopes of bagging a trophy buck and snake. It's kind of cool. And caterpillar. Don't move. They are just two of the 17 professional photographers competing in the Images for Conservation Tournament, a contest promoting nature tourism as a way to preserve Texas lands and the wildlife that live here. Come on, turkey, come this way. Each photographer is assigned to a hill country ranch and has just four weeks to take the best pictures they can. Photographer Kathy Ilg and her husband, Gordon, are from Colorado. This is a way of getting us access to lands that have been shut off before, and to lands that also are, a lot of them, in a more natural state. Each photographer submits their best 75 photos, from landscapes. Hi, sweetie. To lizards. The landowner and the photographer work as a team for a chance at some of the $160,000 in prize money. This land was purchased by my grandfather in 1909, and we would like to keep ownership of it. This contest could be a financial lifesaver to ranchers hey, like John Kothman. The hard part is, uh, is being able to generate income and, and develop uh, a livelihood for you and your family from the land without altering the, the permanent uh, nature of the land. The, the idea of outdoor photography being a potential income was very appealing to me. Flowers nicer. Don't yeah, you know, kinda. yeah. I find myself at the end of each day eager to talk to them and to say, well, tell me about what you got pictures of today. Uh, I see things that I didn't see before. Okay, these are sort of the final purpose. There's sort of a pulse out here. This place is, is wonderful in that it sort of slowly reveals its secrets to you. Just a few ranches away, photographer Sean Fitzgerald is worlds removed from his former corporate life. I'm a reformed attorney, I guess. I had enough, quit, to do this. Ninety-four percent of Texas lands are privately owned, and uh, you know I'm just in mortal fear that they're all going to turn into these little ranchettes, and all this beautiful, amazing land is going to get hacked up, and we'll lose the core of Texas, the soul of Texas. Texas without wildlife is is not Texas anymore. Well, I'm just kind of work his head till he kind of comes out and points his head at me. Mm -hmm. He's not in the flight mode. You know, I'm always looking for either very abstract images or images that sort of tell a story. Almost looks like it was painted by Salvador Dali or something. Image starts about right there. Right. Rancher so, Bob Peterson yeah. is Sean's teammate. Yeah, you kind of hold his tip. Ultimately, my passion is in wildlife and nature and conservation. So I'm trying to take a business approach to conservation. Yeah, I kind of like that. It shows the contest that. hopes to develop a relationship between landowners and photographers, many of whom, like hunters, are willing to pay for access to wild animals. If I can start generating income from my ranch and allow me to further enhance my property to the benefit of wildlife, that's a win-win situation. Images for Conservation believes that there's an opportunity for photography to ultimately grow into an industry like that. A photographer's competition is competing against each other, but more than that, competing against yourself, your time limits. Not in the brush, don't go in the brush. 
um, and what you can do within the, the guidelines of the contest. There are literally millions of nature photographers out there, just like there are millions of people who golf. It's very exciting, really, because you never know what you're going to see. You may see something new, and for all you know, you're capturing something that's never been captured on film before. It's halfway through the contest, and the photographers are wishing for more cooperative wildlife to work with. Come on, give me a photo. Hey. Hey. Okay, I've got what looks to be a skink here. We have a mouse. It's stubborn over here. Oh! That's too far, I guess. He just came out. Oh. Ow! One day she was in blinds for six and a half hours and took four pictures the whole yeah, day. So. And they were all bad pictures. <laughs> they weren't bad. Yeah, they were bad. <laughs> they just weren't good, right? Oh, they were bad. I spent three or four days chasing rock squirrels, and it's really a painful process, chasing squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that fascinated me the most is I see birds 80 times a day. But Sean took a picture of one, and it was like I'd seen it for the first time. Got it? Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, the contest has been a pretty grueling experience, both physically, emotionally. Come on, buddy. Keep going. We were outside a lot of times from sunrise to sometimes 11 o'clock at night or later. Oh, come on, stay still. It's been you know, 30 days of straight bad hair days. Dirt and grime and stink and God knows how bad I smell. There's so many things to consider. You, you kind of think, well, it was so difficult to get this shot, but is it really the best shot to enter? The last light on the last day, the last picture. I'm now going to go to bed for 36 hours. Uh, I'd, I'd go with a four on this particular image. The contest is closed, and the fates of the photographers are in the hands of three renowned photography experts. I've had a whole education about Texas wildlife. Very sweet. Okay, I'll give that a four. It's close, but it didn't quite hit it. Um, the images that I witnessed, extraordinary. I was surprised. Um, I was also enlightened. You know, it's amazing to me how many horizons are off. I'm just going to give that a three. Okay. Well, that's it. You're kidding. We're yeah, done? I know. Ew. Um, the winner of the third grand prize is Kathy Ilg and the Red Creek Ranch. Thousands of pictures and bug bites later. Kathy and the Red Creek Ranch placed third in the contest. Sean and the Peterson Ranch placed fifth. When people look through a camera, they get a greater appreciation. They get this instant emotional connection to that subject that plants itself somewhere deep within and it makes a difference in the decisions they make. In the end, I was very happy with what we got. Our, our landowners seem happy with what we've got too and hopefully it will help them to be able to get people to come to their ranch. Now that I've seen the land through Kathy's eyes, the land is more beautiful than ever. If you would like to see more photos from the contest, look for the Images for Conservation Hill Country Edition in your local HEB grocery store.